I was taking a class on fantastic claims and archaeology, and so we talked about uh, how in the early 1800s uh, Europeans wanted to attribute the mound builders to non-European groups and how that was the fantastic claim that we were covering and so we kind of broke down how that was factually inaccurate. And so as part of the presentation, my professor, she mentioned that there were mounds in, uh, in Grand Rapids um, and I had always heard about the large mounds in like Cahokia, but I didn't know that there were any um, in, you know, my hometown. So I was like, I need to check these out. It's something so important to, you know, preserve and pay attention to. There's so much to be learned. That's why I'm here. You know, the old museum, one of their biggest and most important exhibits when you first walked in, when I was a little kid, until they moved it, was the mounds, everything mounds. They had like graphics, they had uh, displays of stuff in the mounds, people, bodies, it was cool. You know, it was like one of the cooler exhibits. It was like a focal point of that museum, talking about the mounds and the mound builders, what they knew, say, in the 70s and 80s. Well, they built this new museum, and there's not one mention of it at all. Nowhere in that museum did they speak of the mound builders, the mounds, none of the artifacts, not one exhibit. And it struck me as weird. All they have in their little Native American section, stuff attributed to Anishinaabe, like the Potawatomi, Ojibwe, Odawa, there's nothing speaking about the great mound culture, the great complex of mounds that were downtown. 